I've always been quite excited about the project. I've always kind of felt that we were letting a lot of people down at school, or in schools generally. Curly salmon sandwiches and how the hail did flow. They said the bride was lovelier than oh! okay. <laughs> oh, no. Shut up, shut up and sit and down. down. Today we're demonstrating being destructive. Don't like asking questions. People being silly. Too much writing. Bullies. Talking and chatting. Get distracted easily. People being immature. <laughs> People talking. What we've decided to do is bring the boys up to the classroom, down into the woods, and then we can build the fire and get them to start uh, making the fire and looking for the firewood and building it up and, and then lighten it. And so they get the experience, the physical embodiment of the experience that the boys would have had on the island. So it's a, sim so it's a symbol of uh, the story and reenacting out the story with different uh, uh, activities and exercises around the around the fire. Hand on me. So try and choose one that hasn't got. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought this would be a really good opportunity to show to show perhaps what could be done and just just to do something new and something exciting and something interesting. What, I can't get the steam off it. It's really good, and people sh people should do it more often. Yeah. Oh. Can I check that everybody's got their name on their snap? Like being in a classroom because it's all like hot and all like so many rules, and then outside you do what you want. Emerald, because they did stab and they only watch. These are the twins. Just the captain at the end. And this is the monster. That's the monster. This is the pig on the stick. That's, that's my arrow. That's Jack, that's Roll. This is like the rain. It's like when he's dead, like suddenly the rain came down. I prefer being outdoors. Learn more as well. It's like really calm and just like re really relax and just take more and loads of people mess about in a, in a class and like they're like really calm down there doing all their work.
really well. Um, the, the guys are really interested. Um, they're just checking off the quotes on the list and their lists, taking loads of pictures, and they're having a really good discussion about the story and about um, what's happening in the story, about the characters, and about the symbols as well. The, the shirts are going down really, really well. So it's fantastic. This is what it's all about. If you're sitting behind a desk, you might not remember some of the stuff, but you could like remember being out and recreating it. And so, like, if you're sitting back in your exam, you could um, remember, like, or you could, like, oh, your mate did something silly there, but you can remember doing it. I think it's been quite hard to to gauge change because the environment we've done the work in has been so different to the classroom situation. So it's been seeing these students, children, pupils in a totally different environment, um, and behave in sometimes very similar ways, um, i.e., talking and being difficult and being uncooperative and so on um, but then I've seen lots of positive sides that I wouldn't have seen in the classroom with them I've seen lots of laughter I've seen lots of um, running around and being happy um, I've seen moments of genius and moments of brilliance as well in amongst all the rest of it um, so uh, there's been unexpectedly good things and, and sometimes the same old problems that we've had in the classroom as well to be fair we've learnt well I've learnt like more about Lord of the Flies and it's been really good. It helps sound us a laugh. Because like sure. Because um you're like outside and there's less rules. We're going outside bit like making a campfire and that people can trust us for going outside. And what you call it we basically made more friends than usual. Instead of hanging around with the same person all the time. Year on, looking back, what do you, what's your, what are your thoughts now? Um, I'm positive about the whole experience, really. Um, I think looking back at how the boys were a year ago um, compared to how they are now, um, there's been a real significant change in, in, in many of them, not all of them, but many of them. Um, some of them have really settled down academically, some of them have really settled down socially. Um, uh, generally, um, the impact's been really positive. And are you just saying that because it was part of the project and we're asking you about it on camera? No, 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 I really feel like that. Um, if you look at the data um, academically from the results of the um, Lord of the Flies um, exam that they sat, um, five of those boys actually got C's, another five got D's, um, and that, that's just incredible um, considering their sort of backgrounds and, and, um, and how we expected them to perform. So they're, they're really overachieved academically. Um, and I think the other outcome is, is a social one as well. Um, when I see those boys around the school, when I teach them, um, I've got a much closer relationship with them, I've got a much better understanding of them, and I think they've got a better understanding of me, and I think that really helps, has helped us move forward academically and socially um, since the project finished. I think it did help me, because it was better than being in the classroom, and I think I'd done better in the exam than I would have done if, I, if we just stayed in the class and learned. I enjoyed it, and it helped me in the exam. I got a C on the paper. I got a C from it. Like I got a grade that I wouldn't have got if I didn't have to do it. Didn't Same. I didn't think I was going to get the grade that I did, and I did get the grade. What grade did you get? A C in the end. And what does that mean? That I passed and did better than I thought I would. The fact that we interacted with the story and it was like more activities, like... I found it more fun. Yeah, like you could remember it more. It was I like more memorable. A little bit? Yeah. Memorable. Outside learning, like, it got my memory thinking and then I remembered the trail and then I went, oh, that's a nice quote for that uh, point and all that. The differences in the students, the differences with their results, the differences between, um, with the relationships between the students and the staff um, have all, have all, are all different because of the project and different in a positive way. Um, and I think there really is legs um, for this kind of learning, this type of learning to be rolled out um, across the country. So would you would you recommend that way of learning for everything else as well? Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's I actually, would as well. it is a good way of learning. I'm not gonna lie. Something new. Like if someone hasn't tried it before, then maybe I'll have them as well. It'd be nice to see more of these like projects going on for in schools, just to like see what the outcome is. Good for learning. I recommend it for every school to maybe uh, boost their learning, like funner.
to make it like outside learning and it will help people a lot. Downsides? Um, downside, um, it was a lot of hard work and a lot of resources to put into a relatively small group of children. Um, it was frustrating and difficult at times, um, but I think the, ups the upsides have outweighed the downsides quite significantly, really. And do you feel you work harder now? Definitely. Yeah. Improved like a lot. And you're not just saying this for the camera, no one's making you say this? No. No. If educational planners are seeing this, do you feel that you guys have got something to teach them about what it is to be learning in school? Yeah, because what, what like the adults see as us learning is totally different to us. Like they see it as head down, silence, working. But if we have a different way to work, as in like in the words, for example, it's more fun and then it sticks to us more instead of just putting pen to paper. I remember it being really fun. Uh, I used to look forward to doing it all the time. It was like a break out on normal lessons. Like, she wouldn't just get bored all the time. There's like different things to do. Can we do it again? <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs>